Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So um, do whatever you have to do, integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, you have to decide if it's easier to integrate it by dx first or by dy first. If you, you, if you decided to use the uh, dx first, then, uh, then you've got to treat this as a variable, you've got to treat this block as a variable, which in turn means you have to use integration by parts. As it turns out, it's easier to integrate it with respect to y first. Because if, if you integrate it with respect to y first, then, uh, then you can treat this as a constant. Well, it turns out to be to be easier to integrate it with respect to y first and then with respect to x. But first, we need, we need to understand what's going on here. We need to understand um, the region in which we're integrating over. So if currently, as it stands, currently, um, currently it's in the, y, in, in the x direction first, which means it's moving along like this. It's moving along parallel to the x axis. So what does that mean? Well, if, if you're moving along in the x direction first, um, then, then it's got to be x equals something, x equals something. So currently, we're just trying to understand the situation. Later on, we will make the switch, dy and then dx. Currently, we're just understanding the situation. Well, this thing here, hang on. So, uh, so the region, we need to understand the region at which we're integrating over. Well, let's, let's just draw this line, y equals x. It looks like this, y equals x. And, um, and currently, we're moving along the parallel to the x-axis. So we're moving along like this. We're moving along like this. And um, we're moving from x equals, from the diagonal line, from the diagonal line. So we're moving along from the diagonal line. And then, uh, and then we stop at x equals 1. Let's just say 1 is here. Let's just say 1 is here. Well, it's a diagonal line, which means this is also 1. So, so we're moving along like this from, from the diagonal line to, to 1. So we're moving from the diagonal line to 1. 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 So we are actually integrating like this. And then, um, and then uh, we're scanning all the way from 0 to 1. So we're scanning along all the way from 0 to 1. So, so this is what's going on. We're scanning all the way through. So in short, the region that we're integrating over is this region here. Is this region here. We're integrating like this. And we're scanning from 0 to 1. So we're scanning like this. So really, the region we're interested in is this region here. Okay, so, so now that we understand our region, we will need to make this, the switch. We want to integrate it with, we want, we want to switch these two around. So now it becomes dy by dx. Now that we understand the region, we are trying to integrate over this region here. So we can make this translation now. We can try and work this out. Well, if we're moving in the, um, in the dx first, uh, dy first, then we're moving along like this, parallel to the y direction. So we're moving along like this. So, uh, so now we are integrating from, uh, from 0 to the diagonal line from 0 to the diagonal line, from 0 to the diagonal line. So which means, well, dy, that means it's going to be y equals something, y equals something. And, uh, and here we, you can see that we're integrating from y equals 0 to the diagonal line, or well, the diagonal line is y equals x. And then we're scanning all the way through from x equals 0 to 1, because we're doing this, we're scanning all the way through from x equals 0 to 1, which means which means x equals 0 to x equals 1. So, uh, so, so this thing here, this thing here, we can now translate it to this thing here. But the good thing is that we're doing it with respect to y first and then with respect to x, which means we've got to, we've got to change uh, our, our region. So from this, we will change it to this okay so currently we are here so currently so currently we are here currently we are here so the rest is just plain sailing now so uh so now looking at this we need to integrate it with respect to y so that means that this is a constant so so to integrate this to integrate this we're looking for something 
in such a way that when, we, when you differentiate it, it will give you this. Make this to be your initial guess. So this is our initial guess. Um, if, we, if we differentiate this, it will give us, well remember this is a constant, it will give us this, x, e, x, y. But then going back to here, we need x squared. Um, this is a constant. Remember, x squared is a constant. So we need to go back to our initial guess. Let's just stick an x in here. Now when you differentiate this, hang on. Now when you differentiate, now when you differentiate this, the x will come down, giving you x squared, and then e, x. So the point is that to integrate this is actually x, e to the power of x, y. So it will then give you this. Well, use whichever technique you need, you, you want to use. But if you integrate this, it will give you this. And remember, it's from 0 to x. It's from 0 to x. So now we can, um, we can put this into the y here. So that will, then give us, that will then give us this thing. And then you take away, you take away, and then put 0 into the y. Uh, and then that will then give you x. Because x times 0 would be 0, e to the power of 0 is actually 1, and then you've got this x here, that's this x here. That will then take you to here. So now integrate it. If you, um, if you integrate this, it will give you this. Integrate this, it will give you this from 0 to 1. From 0 to 1. So now put 1 into here. Um, put 1 into here, that will then give you this. And then you take away and then put 0 into here which will give you this thing here and then put 0 into here which will be 0 overall your answer would be this this is your final answer okay